Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a three matrix spaces, x d, y d dash, and z d double dash. Let me draw the diagram so you, we can easily understand. See, we have this matrix space x d. Okay. Second matrix space y d dash, and the third matrix space z d double dash okay so we have two continuous functions we have a first function f which is a continuous function which is from x to y and we have the second function g which is also a continuous function and which is from y to z and the composition of these two functions is the third function that is g composite f which is from x to z and we have to prove that if f and g are continuous, then their composition function g composite f is also continuous. But see, they have uh, added one condition using sequential criteria. This thing we have to prove. So let me write a given information first. So let me write. We have we have the information is f from x to y is continuous function getting and g from y to z is continuous and what we have to prove we have to prove that g composite f from x to z is continuous see we have to use sequential criteria so let us see what is sequential criteria actually and then we will discuss its proof that result actually we have already proved that sequential criteria is f from x to y is continuous if and only if xn converges to x in x implies f of xn converges to f of x in y okay so let me explain the same thing with a diagram actually this part we have already proved in, in previous video if you want you can watch that video uh, let me explain that thing suppose this is a matrix space xd and this is another matrix space y d dash same like this getting and we have a function f from x to y if you get any sequence can you see this is the sequence we have xn and which is moving towards a single point x then it's image sequence like this so suppose you have x1 here its image will be f of x1 here if you have x2 here its image will be f of x2 here so this is the image sequence it is moving towards a single point x0, x whatever, then its image sequence will converge to f of x0. So this is the if and only statement. That means if the function is continuous, then this statement, th that part is true. That means xn converges to x0, f of xn converges to f of x0. And the converse is also true. That means if xn converges to x0 implies f of xn converges to f of x0, then f is continuous function you can use it in both ways getting since if and only if is there and just like i explain or just like i told you in the previous video that is if you have if and only if statement then you can consider it as a definition you can use it as a definition in some other results also so i'm going to consider this part as a definition of continuous function and using it we are going to prove and in this result also they have mentioned using sequential criteria we have to prove this thing so what do you think what we have to assume first what we have to assume we have to prove that g composite f is continuous function that means i will take one convergent sequence from the domain of g composite f and we have to prove that its image sequence here is also convergent okay so let us take one sequence let xn b a sequence in x d and x n converges to x naught or p getting so uh, let me show here uh, let me remove this one so we'll have some more space to complete this proof okay okay so what i'm doing i'm taking one sequence in matrix space x d which converges to point p you can see here this is x1 this is x2 like this and which converges to p but see f is continuous given information but f from x to y is continuous getting 
so by using this result which i have mentioned already see function f is continuous so that's why its image sequence that is also convergent that means you will have f of x1 f of x2 and so on it will converge to f of p getting so since the function is continuous so using sequential criteria we can see therefore f of xn converges to f of p in y d dash right but see one more information we have one more information we have that is g is also continuous but f g from y to z is also continuous see this g is also continuous so therefore again by using same result if you have any convergent sequence in a domain of g its image will be convergent in codomain of g getting so therefore if this is a convergent sequence we have its image will be g composite f of or g of simply you can write g of f of x1 g of f of x2 so such sequence image sequence will get and it will converge to g of f of p right using the same result we can write so g is continuous so that's why its image sequence therefore g of f of xn getting uh, yes xn converges to g of f of p in z d double dash g of f of xn that means g composite f of xn right it converges to g of f of p that means g composite f of p in z d d dash d double dash sorry so that means we started with a convergent sequence in x and we got its image g composite f of xn converges to g composite f of p in z d double dash so let me mention therefore g composite f from x to z is continuous function that's uh, that's it so in this way using sequential criteria we proved that composition of two continuous function is also continuous make a screenshot of it then we will we stop thank you see you